Here's the thing about the 8th house in astrology that I feel like is commonly misunderstood. And this does apply to all the houses. So check this out if you have a birth chart. The 8th house in astrology is about losing control, losing parts of yourself, sharing things with another person. And it's about intimacy and vulnerability. I think so many people who have 8th house placements and who know about the 8th house, like have this assumption that this means that people have eighth housers have this incredible depth and they're also able to connect on like the deepest level like they're just walking around looking for someone to like merge souls with and like yes low-key a little bit but the thing with the eighth house is that you are learning about intimacy and vulnerability you're you're not just inherently a master of it and typically speaking with the eighth house especially personal planets especially luminaries in the eighth house these people have had experiences where life has shown them that it's not safe to be vulnerable where they've trusted and opened their heart and been seriously hurt often in like pretty creepy dark maybe even horrific ways not always but so then the eighth house are completely retreats and is like no i won't do that anymore the hero's journey of this house is to get to a point where you can open your heart again knowing that you could experience being very badly hurt again but it's about trusting the self to have the discernment to know basically who to merge souls with to know what to merge with to know what energy to allow yourself to become one with eighth housers don't just have like this life full of these sexy deep intimate relationships where they're connected with another soul on the deepest possible level ideally and like a healed eighth houser will do that but the chances of being a healed anything like immediately especially early in life same goes for like the seventh house the assumption with someone with a huge seventh house could be like oh they must have a ton of like really close relationships where they can rely on each other and they probably have like a partner that they love second housers they're learning about self-worth they're learning about accumulating money they're learning about taking care of their physical body they don't they're not already doing this perfectly the houses show where your planets are interacting what area of life your planets are interacting in in order to learn lessons it's not so they can flex their skills in that house you're learning something we all are at least that's the foundational view of astrology and so the house in which a planet is in is where it's doing its healing often through experiencing the exact opposite of the ideal circumstances of that house